Well, hi, everybody. I'm Chuck Chaplin. I'm here from admissions. I'm also an optimist on campus and a uh, Toastmaster, so uh, I'm putting a little bit of this to use and hoping to... Uh, I just love this topic. It uh, kind of bridges my career at Disney, where I was for uh, 12 years and now in academia. So uh, the uh, geometry of meaning, I also call it an architecture of possibility. And, and uh, math in uh, high school, though, I was a, uh, a math major, and I just love the number line. It's such a simple thing, but it you know, goes to infinity in both directions and uh, can measure any kind of data. That's uh, one of the amazing things, not just, number, uh, not just numbers. And if the origin is commonly called, I also call it a define. If you put it in three dimensions, you have x, y, and z. Uh, theoretically, you can uh, locate any point in space anywhere, but you have to know, first of all, where you are. Um, Descartes kind of invented this thing. And I like the idea that you can have any number of axes join into that central point and end up with something that looks a little bit like a dandelion. Well, I call it a twinkle. Uh, and I take it out of just the numerical into the really spatial sense and maybe define the define in, uh, with a topic such as no war. Could be any topic that you might want to define. And then you would have axes representing the various dimensions that might go into that topic. So it's in essence, a twinkle to me is an inspiration. That's a twinkle in your eye, the first thought of something. Uh, it also goes into the very common idea of uh, mind mapping. But it's also a, a kind of a moment where you have a thought and it starts on its way to be a thing. Um, and I think an idea into an icon, for instance, there was a moment when there was no um, Eiffel Tower and then there was a twinkle in somebody's mind. And then all of these people became infected with Eiffel Tower twinkles. Uh, and now around the world, billions of people since then. So it's just kind of a tool in a way to think about the growth of mental space over time. And there's a lot of ways to think about twinkles used in um, as a tool to build structures, like you know the lines of uh, force between the north and south and a magnet, or this uh, social media, the conversation, or even the, you know a neuron is in a way uh, twinkles uh, in the brain. But the thing I really like about it, it's kind of a, a mental tool to imagine thought happening and the you know, different colors coming together or different thoughts merging. You could conceive of all of the uh, Eiffel twinkles uh, merging into one concept for a totality of what the Eiffel Tower is about uh, to the human beings. And the other thing I really like is it's kind of a way to represent the growth of mind space. And so, you know, 10 years ago, we couldn't say we could all stand on the surface of Mars. We almost all now kind of have that experience and it's definitely changing uh, the concept of what our minds can do. Um, and I think ultimately, you know, we are heading mentally out to the very, very edges of the universe. What I would like to see is maybe we should look at twinkles like no war, or no hunger. You know, how do we just start zooming in on concepts that we would like to uh, uh, develop uh, solutions for? So anyway, that's generally the thought. Again, shout out to Carol of the uh, uh, Optimist Club and of the uh, Toastmasters and love to have you guys get involved.